Now, as the Democratic Republic of Congo battles the spread of the deadly Ebola virus, just across the border, Ugandan survivors of a 2007 outbreak are reminded of the near-death experience they went through. Bonibuji district at the border with Uganda and the DRC faced the brunt of a uh, homogeric uh, homorrhagic disease as both health workers and residents lost their lives. Ali Mathumani reports from Bundibujo in Uganda. Health worker Samuel Kule in 2007 was attending to patients with mysterious fevers along with his brother who was also a health worker. And within two days my brother also was affected. So I attended to my brother also. And uh, after two days, he was referred to Wendujo Hospital and he died in Wendujo Hospital. Kule also became infected and it was his blood test that confirmed Uganda was facing an outbreak of Ebola. Chachimwa Jacobet lost two brothers and a niece to the virus and became infected herself. She recalls the stigma and rejection of being linked to Ebola. Even those we shared meals with, those who spent their days with us, suddenly never wanted to be around us. When I was admitted to the hospital, the landlord evicted my children out of fear that they would infect others with the disease. Before the 2007 Ebola outbreak was contained, 149 people were infected and 37 died, five of them health workers. With Ebola spreading once again just over the border in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Uganda is screening border crosses carefully. Uganda's Ministry of Health sent a trial vaccine for frontline workers like Francis Muhindo, who fought the 2007 outbreak. The threat is that any time anybody can contract it from Congo, cross up to here, and maybe we get in contact with such a person and, have a, and, and, and contract the disease. So, if I'm um, immunized, I think I will be safe. The Ministry of Health says 20,000 people cross the border each week, putting Uganda at high risk of another Ebola outbreak. Halima Afmani for VA News, Bundibujo.